Hi YouTube. In this super quick video, we're going to talk about Intel GPUs. At the end of the video, I'm going to retest my ARC A770 one more time just to kind of give it a send off. First, we're going to talk about what I think is exciting about the ARC B series that is just launching as we speak. First and foremost, we'll look at some really general specs here. I'm on Tech Power Up just comparing the A770 to the B580. Really, really quickly, if we look at the comparison charts, at least from just a shader performance view, the B580 is 12% faster than the A770. At the surface, that doesn't sound like very much. Keep in mind that the new price of the B580 is only $250, whereas the A770 was around $330. And it took a little while, but it did end up dropping down to under $300 frequently. So for 80 less dollars, you'll get 12% more speed and we'll actually lose four gigs of VRAM going to the new generation, but 12 is still respectable. The other really major thing here is that despite the slight bump in performance, the new B580 is actually more power efficient. So the A770 was 225 watts and the B-Series card is only 190. So a slight improvement in speed and efficiency, which is never a bad thing. That's all fine and good. It looks like a really nice budget card. Um, 12 gigs of VRAM obviously is comparable to like the 3060 from NVIDIA, which I commonly recommend to people who want a budget GPU for 3D work. But what I think is really gonna be exciting is Pretty soon, Intel's going to announce their next round of Pro Series GPUs. And I think what we're going to see is a 24 gigabyte version of the same chip that's in the B580. I would expect um, Intel Arc Pro B580 or W580, whatever they'll end up calling it. And I think it'll be basically the same thing with probably maybe 10 watts more power draw. So around 200 watts. And I think 24 gigs of VRAM will not be out of the question. I actually heard a leak today that claims that might be the case. So that would be really exciting, especially if they keep this thing under six or 700 bucks for 24 gigs of VRAM. I've said it for years. If they just give me a really high VRAM card for cheap, I don't care how slow it is. So it looks like we're finally kind of getting to the point where that might be the reality. Uh, but I think we'll have to wait probably another month or two to see once they get all of their consumer stuff launched and they're available in stores, then we'll probably hear about the Pro Series. So watch for that soon. So in general, it's, it's a nice little speed bump. It's a good value now. We are getting more VRAM on average at each price tier over time. So that's still going the right way. But it remains to be seen how well these actually perform in ray tracing, which is what really matters for 3D rendering. So as soon as I can get one of these, I will test it. But for now, I don't really wanna spend an extra $150 on a Chinese model that may or may not get here. We might have to wait about a month or so before I'm able to get one of these cards, but uh, I'll test it as soon as I can get one. So now I'm gonna show you the retest on the A770, just to kind of close that chapter. We'll switch over to Blender now. Okay, so here we are remoted into the test bench. We're gonna run the classroom scene first. All these tests are run with one API and Intel Ombre checked on. Uh, classroom only took about 32 and a half seconds. So we'll log that and I'll come back through and compare it to old results later. Next is the barbershop scene. Same settings, frame 100 and hit render. This one does take a little bit longer, but I've sped through all of these so we don't sit and watch it render. This one took two minutes and 48 seconds. So we'll add that to the spreadsheet. Okay, next is the lone monk scene. This is the longest test of the four that I normally run. So this one is sped up considerably. And during this test, the GPU ran at 82 Celsius. Okay, this one took about four minutes and 10 seconds. And finally, the scan land scene. Uh, 
and this one took about a minute and 43 seconds. So we'll add that. And now we'll go back through and sort all of the tabs. So we'll start back over with Classroom. And you can see here, I've highlighted the differences. Blender 4.3 is actually a second and a half slower on the arc. Similar result on the barbershop scene. Here you can see the highlighted values. Uh, Blender 4.3 is two seconds slower than 4.1. For the lone monk scene, there was a 13 second difference. Uh, the newer Blender version is slower than the older one, although that's a relatively small percentage. And finally, for the scan land scene, a lot closer here, um, but four seconds slower for Blender 4.3 versus 4.1 on the A770. So I'll post the new version of the spreadsheet on a uh, community post. Watch for some Intel B-Series content soon. I hope to get one in the next month or two. Thanks for watching. Bye.